Good to have you here. I'm certain I haven't had enough caffeine for this group and for, <laughs> and for the MC, right? Well, how many of those, now be honest. Oh uh, God, we're gonna start serious. Out of those 10 sports, how many have you participated in? You know, I'm, I don't really want to admit anything that I participated okay. on because you're just gonna run with whatever I say. <laughs> I know I'm fair game starting yeah, early. Yeah, no, no, no. So. We're going to be nice. You're, you're nice. a big, you're a big nice. guest for the, for the day. Well, I'm happy to be here. Thank well, you. Well, great. And welcome. Now, are you, are you originally from Arizona, or where are you from? Originally from Southern California, uh, but have spent most of my career here in Arizona. Um, and it definitely feels like home. So this is a great project for me to work on. Well, that's awesome. And I know your background very briefly. You uh, were with the Suns for a number of years. I was. I was with the Phoenix Suns, and I was with the two-time championship Phoenix Mercury during our championship years. Well, that's great. Well, tell us a little bit about it. What's a, a little known fact about Jay Perry? Little known fact, um, I love to golf. I don't call myself a golfer. Uh, and I've only had one hole in one, but I'm very committed to, to getting that next hole in one, so. You've only had one? Only one. Yeah. My next one will be my, my first one. There you go. Well, you've got and probably to my last one. Something would you, you have a whole one here in the valley? Uh, it was actually in Solana Beach, California. Does anybody know where that is? Give me a hand for Solana Beach. Yeah. Is Good, that got that two. little uh, miniature golf place right there? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say what kind of a course. <laughs> exactly. Well, great. Well, there's a huge amount of buzz, justifiably so, about the Super Bowl coming. Right. Um, give us kind of a, a, a 30,000 foot view of uh, how we got it. Sure. And what's, what we can look forward to and what it means to uh, the Valley. Sure. Well, I have to start with, um, you were nice enough to put up the countdown clock. And just so you guys know, this creates a lot of stress, right? When I see this <laughs> counting down. So just having that in the rearview mirror there is helpful. I got to go. Got a lot to do. Um, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I've worked on this just about a year and a half. <coughs> and the way the selection process goes is... Um, Host committees make a bid, host communities make a bid. And it's interesting because prior to 2000, I want to say eight, anybody could make a bid. And so the NFL was receiving, I mean, it could be 10, it could be 20 bids, and they need to look at all of them. And so after we hosted in 2008, Mike Kennedy, who was the chairman of the host committee, and Michael Bidwell proposed to the NFL that they actually invite bids. And so the NFL changed the process, and now typically three host communities bid on each Super Bowl. So it's happening at the end of this month at the owner's meeting. They'll be bidding on, let's see, 16, 2018. And so there's three markets that are making that bid. So uh, after 2008, uh, the group put in a couple unsuccessful bids. And then um, really with the investment that Arizona has made in the community, especially in downtown Phoenix, and all the changes that have gone on in Arizona, the NFL was really excited about bringing the Super Bowl back in 2015, which is really fairly quickly for us to host in 2008 and then get it again in 2015. So that's a testament to the business community, the public leaders, uh, to really make Arizona attractive. That's awesome. Well, you know, I've always heard for years that uh, nobody does a better job of throwing a bowl than the Valley. The Fiesta True. Bowl has always been known as the best run bowl. Right. So the fact, that, and I even heard the first, as, as was mentioned earlier, in 96. 96, it, yep. You know, even though the stadium was subpar, let's right. face it, yeah. people still had a blast. Had and a they, fantastic time. And they thought time. it was fabulous. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, kudos to the Valley for that. We are, um, and you know, you make a really good point, we are considered kind of an expert in hosting mega events because we're making a bid now in the Final Four, um, have had a couple national championships, obviously in uh, Major League Baseball All-Star, uh, NBA All-Star. This summer we'll host the WNBA All-Star in downtown Phoenix. So we are, we are so suited for that. It's really one of our strong points. And so the idea is, how do we build the economy? How do we make it work for our business community by bringing these mega events uh, to the Valley? And that's a lot about what the Super Bowl is here for. You know, when it comes to bidding, we do bid well. We bid well, <laughs> but it's but it's W I L L. Um, I, I know we well. Bid... <laughs> yes, yes. Well, um, <laughs> let's, let's, these folks are interested in what does the Super Bowl mean to to their businesses. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. give us an economic impact. Sure. I, I know the Super Bowl. Everybody thinks of it as as that Sunday, but it's a right. It's right. a full blown ten day event. It, it really is. Um, it's a little about, about the game, and it's a lot about all that programming that goes on around the game. 
And uh, we're really excited because it's going to be an even bigger deal because now we're hosting Pro Bowl, which happens the Sunday before Super Bowl. So that's kind of the big, almost, you know, entrance and opening act, if you will, to that week of activities and leading up to Super Bowl. So when we hosted in 2008, the economic impact was measured just for that weekend of Super Bowl as $500.8 million of economic impact. And that was measured by the W.P. Carey School, so we love to use our local partners for those, uh, those types of projects too. And so the goal is always, how can we increase that? So in 2015, certainly coming up next, um, next January, our goal is to surpass that number. And also, what the host committee works on, we're really the catalyst for all the stakeholders, you and, and all the other stakeholders in Arizona. We're really the catalyst for kind of how do we make this work and how do we make the impact as big as possible. And uh, so we're in the business of how do we plant seeds that will reap benefits leading up to the Super Bowl, but also give us something to build on after the game is gone. So kind of that lasting legacy of how can we attract businesses to come to Arizona because they came and went to the Super Bowl, they saw the Super Bowl on TV. Um, so just how do we use it as a commercial to really build our business, build our infrastructure, and build our state? But, you know, everybody thinks of it being in Glendale or downtown Phoenix, but you're going to see ripple effects. I mean, Absolutely. The, the airport, you know, right. Phoenix Mesa Gateway is going to be busier. Every, yeah. Restaurants, hotels, everybody's going to be busy. Well, we were just out, uh, I was just downtown here um, last week talking with the Convention and Visitor Bureau folks. We talked a lot about the airports. We talked a lot about the hotels that you do have in town um, and just what a phenomenal job Mace has done. Since 2008, you've changed a lot too. And that's some of what we can do is showcase that. Uh, we work with all the event planners that are going to come to town. Um, and it is an enormous party, let me be clear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's good because that's good for business. Um, and then another one of the economic impact programs uh, is what was mentioned earlier. It's called Business Connect. And so we take uh, small businesses in Arizona and we basically match them up with services, products needed by NFL parties, NFL suppliers, the NFL itself. And so that's a program that we're working with Copper Point Mutual on now, which is the, a fantastic partner because they're so invested in small business success. And then also Freeport McMoran, which is our large mining company here in town. They are sponsoring this program where we create a database, we have events, and all NFL partners are encouraged to go to our database on our website to use local small businesses for everything they need. So it really is exciting. It's very trackable. It's very quantitative. And we want to make sure that we really are making a significant difference in that way. And there's all kinds of opportunities around the Super Bowl. When you've got that many people with that much money coming in, you can do little startups. I'm going to... I don't know if I should even share this with you guys. I'm going to bring in a couple truckloads of ferrets. <laughs> I'm going to have it where you can rent them for a couple hours at a time. Rent, rent a ferret. Okay, rent a ferret. Yeah. Ferrets are us. I don't think I should have said that because this is being recorded, so let's just kind of delete that, rent a ferret. Um, and actually, one of my favorite stats, talking about all those people coming into town, we expect about 100,000 visitors to come to town. We expect over 5,000 media personnel from around the world. Wow. And so the idea is, how can we use those folks that are on the ground for now 10 days leading up to Super Bowl and give them stories about Arizona that we want told that are really going to project that brand of this is a great place to do business, it is a great place to live, and of course it's a good place to visit too. So um, working with the media is a lot of what the host committee and um, we'll pull in the communities to work on that too. And so speaking of um, rich people, you guys are interested in this, right? Um, we see um, Super Bowl as being one of the biggest, um, highest trafficked private jet events in the world. Um, so the Masters is up there, um, the Davos Economic Summit is up there in terms of private jet traffic. And so we anticipate over that week over 1,500 flights coming in and out of our um, private airports. So that is an enormous stat and an enormous, you know, we want to make sure we're welcoming those folks and they really do understand the business community um, and, all, and all that we stand for. So that's one of our touch Just, points too. It's so great to, to follow up last year's too in, in New York, New Jersey area right. where everybody's worried about being snowed out and all this. And, We'll have a gorgeous, you know, 82 yeah. degree day. It's yeah. going to be awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I was at the Super Bowl in New York and New Jersey. I never had to bring up the weather because everyone asked me about it. Every conversation started with, 
is it any warmer in Arizona? And of course, you know, I had this and I had the weather up and I was tweeting about it. <laughs> um, and we're very, you know, we like to have our stats. And so the average uh, temperature in February is 71 degrees. And so that was, um, that was a big talking point. And it was, really, um, it was really fun and it made me really proud of Arizona because the media, NFL personnel, NFL sponsors all said, we can't wait to get back to Arizona. And I said, yeah, me too. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, what do you, I know you've got all kinds of inside track. Any chance you can somehow pull some strings and get the Cardinals in the Super Bowl? Well, if I could, I would. And I'm <laughs> going to work on that over the next 262 days. Is that, no, well, 68 days. Um, you know, it would be fantastic to have the Cardinals in the Super Bowl, wouldn't it? Yeah. If, if you can make that happen, do us all a favor. Eliminate the last 90 seconds of the game. <laughs> we, we would have won. That yeah, would have been awesome. Think, that's right, exactly. <laughs> Back in the day. Well, how many Cardinals fans do we have here today? We, yeah, okay, okay, good. I love that. Well, just, um, it was exciting, obviously. NFL has made, super, has made football a year-round sport, right? So, again, a big milestone last night with the NFL draft. And um, I'm excited about the Cardinals season. I mean, I feel like there's really great momentum there, and they've made a lot of nice moves, and obviously the draft will... Um, bring some new players on over the next couple days. Um, but I think the Cardinals have a shot. Well, cool. You know what? Here's a little quirk with me. How many people really grasp Roman numerals at this point? Um, can we start <laughs> calling it like by, what is it? This is Super Bowl XL. XLIX. XL, XLIX. 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 Yeah. yeah. Super Bowl XLIX. Yeah. I'm sure you could do something with that. You just yeah. haven't had enough time to think yeah, exactly. about it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't even know what that, what number is that? 40, 49. 49. Yes. Well, it go. gets easier next year. So yeah. San Francisco, Santa Cruz follows us with their new stadium, and it's L. 50. I like XLIX. It's so funny. Somebody said that to me yesterday. Pixels. They go, what's with the Roman numerals? It's confusing. I know. Well, L is going to be way easier. And we're, <laughs> it just, well, I was going to say, <laughs> it doesn't. People are always doing this to me. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> it doesn't have the je ne sais quoi of all the Roman numerals. No, don't you guys point. agree? Yeah. I like, like the. looks like Super Bowl large. Well, and that's okay. Extra large. Extra large. Um, and so we will have on a Super Bowl Central, which is going to be in downtown Phoenix. So this is kind of a new concept. Oh, here we go. Um, this is going to be a 12 block. I'm calling it a fan campus that will be open for that week leading up to the game. And on the right, you see the NFL experience in the big blue box. So that's the brand new convention center in downtown Phoenix. And NFL experience is, um, it's a paid ticket. It's typically about $25, but it's a fantastic place to bring your friends, bring your uh, kids, and they've got all sorts of football themed games and exhibits and movies and merchandise. It's really, it's really, really cool. I went to it in New Orleans. It was fantastic. And then as you kind of move to the left, um, you see Media Center. So that's where those 5,000 media personnel will be every day. Radio Row has t a table just like this filled with radio personalities broadcasting day and night from Phoenix, Arizona, talking about Super Bowl and talking about everything we got going on here, which is fantastic. And then over to the left of that, um, in that activity zone, uh, and where you see XLIX, I'm just going to point to the Roman numerals again, where it says main stage. Um, we'll have Roman numerals that are about 35, 40 feet high, um, longer than 50 feet. That has become one of the most photographed, kind of iconic elements of Super Bowl. So everyone will come and stand in front of it and you know, look really small. And then we'll have a main stage. We'll have concerts every night. Um, daytime programming where we'll have um, community groups come out and showcase Native Americans. Um, so it's going to be fun. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I bet we've got a question or two from this uh, group of people that are trying to figure out how they could. Yes, Dale. Here's a microphone for you. Well, the football game is always great, but sometimes the halftime shows are great and sometimes they're not. Who picks those halftime shows? Is that your committee or, or somebody else? I'm afraid to say I have anything to do with the halftime show based on what he just said. <laughs> um, fr frankly, the, the day of the game is really managed by the NFL because that is, right, the crown jewel of football and it is the, the largest event and the most watched TV program of anything ever. Wow. This past year uh, in New York, it was watched by 112 million people. In the U.S., that's the most watched program. So 
we will be in the spotlight. So the NFL works on the Halftime Act and all the intro acts, and they also work with Pepsi because Pepsi is the sponsor and has such a connection to music. So they are, um, they're behind closed doors right now working on who that might be. Um, I'm open to suggestions. You can yell them out. Um, I've you can submitted. suggest the MC. I've submitted um, a video. Or you can't, oh my God, in video. I, I, I think a, a previous uh, wardrobe malfunction might keep me out of it, though. <laughs> so, so you can you can tweet to us at AZ Super Bowl oh. um, or Facebook us with your ideas if you have any or any. Again, you can just yell them out right now. I've who, heard who Justin like Timberlake. To see? You know what we should do? We should have an Arizona. Uh, we should have Alice Cooper, Stevie Nicks, and Dirks Bentley. That's an all-star huh? lineup. And Jordan Sparks. Jordan Sparks, love it. Yeah. And Jay Perry. And what about, is it Stevie Nicks? Who's the one from Tucson? Uh, Linda Ronstadt. Linda Ronstadt, thank you. Linda yeah. Ronstadt, we've got to be equal opportunity. We're all about Arizona. Arizona Super Bowl. We want it to be very much about the whole state. I like it. Who else, who else do you guys think? What? Scorpion eating contest. Scorpion eating contest. We'd actually like to have tourists come to That's Arizona. <laughs> got another question right yes. front. Yeah, during 2000 and, what year did we have the Super Bowl last? Eight. 2008. Um, how do everyday people like us, how does the ticket process work? So if people just, average Joes like us, um, want to get tickets, when, mm -hmm. do, when do those open up? How do we get a shot at being able to go to the game? Sure, good question. So uh, you can go onto the NFL website, and th these instructions are also on our website, and there's actually a way to enter your name, and it's a lottery to get tickets. And so um, that, plus being a Cardinal season ticket holder, you can also get into that same lottery. So there's not an easy way to just go and, and kind of, you know, get them on the website at Ticketmaster.com. Um, but the good news is, in hosting Pro Bowl, so the week before, those tickets will be available. They will be on open um, for public sale. If you're a Cardinal season ticket holder, you kind of get first dibs on your tickets for Pro Bowl. So where was my, where was my Super Bowl, my football player? Where'd Chris go? Oh, Chris, okay. So Chris, as a Cardinal season ticket holder, you get first dibs on the Pro Bowl tickets. Uh, and those will also be more affordable. They'll be more like a regular season kind of playoff NFL game. So that's where you get to see the best players in the league from all sorts of teams. Um, so keep an eye out for Pro Bowl tickets, and then you can go on NFL.com to look for the Super Bowl sweepstakes ticket. My plan is I'm going to go to the Pro Bowl and then hide in the bathroom for a week. <laughs> but here... <laughs> but here... <laughs> but here's what's great. I love that question because usually people just say, can I get tickets from you, Jay? <laughs> and then I say, I've got them in my purse. How many would you like? <laughs> so so, that was a nice, so thank you for the setup. That was very nice. One way, a little known way to get an inside track on tickets is if you get people to join the Mesa Chamber. Uh, yeah, that's, first that's a try. I have a question here. Yes, sir. Does they lose money on this? Is this a risk that this will be the last Super Bowl? Or is you know, I hope not. Um, I mean, I, I think that um, mega events, as I mentioned kind of earlier, really are intended to benefit the entire state. A lot of that benefit comes in the valley because that's where the, the majority of business is. Um, and, and it's interesting, um, the way it works for Super Bowls is it really is a community event. And so all communities chip in for sponsorship, for help us raise the $30 million to host the game. All the business leaders chip in for that. Um, and then on a public safety basis, all the municipalities pitch in to cover public safety around the Super Bowl that happens to occur in Glendale. So there's, there's not really a burden that Glendale takes on kind of solo, if you will. Um, and, and I've heard that the media exposure associated with 2008 was in excess of $20 million that they measured in Glendale. So it really is, um, it really is a benefit. And um, they, are, they are kind of jumping on board to work with us and to organize and, and kind of get behind making this the best Super Bowl ever. So um, it really isn't a money loser when you look at tax dollars, exposure, media, um, business that happens right around the game and right around the week of the game. So that's the story that, that we want to get out there because it really is important for everyone to know that it does benefit us today, but also in the future. Well, Jay, we, oh, one last, we got time for one last question. People are coming to 
Arizona to see the Super Bowl. What advice would you give someone coming to Arizona to find a place to rent or those that maybe want to rent a place to people who are coming from out of town? And so rent, does that mean a, a home as opposed to a hotel? Uh, correct, a home. Yeah. Um, we have, um, we work mostly with the hotel industry to support those businesses and the hospitality industry. Uh, and so we have hotels that are lined up in room blocks that the NFL um, gives out, if you will. And, and we've got a couple of hotels in Mesa participating, which is fantastic. Thank you if you're here. Um, from, a, from a home rental standpoint, I'm not really sure. I would kind of think VRBO and those types of websites would be appropriate. Um, but I'm open to ideas that you guys have because, you know, we want to make sure that it benefits as many people as possible. Do you have a nice home that you're going to rent? Because I might be interested if I have to leave mine up right I know a guy that's got an unbelievable backyard. That's right. <laughs> well, Jay, we thank you so much. And I'm looking over here. Look, look at that. I want you to look at the board. 268 days, 8 hours, and 1 minute and 59 seconds until we kick off. Until we kick off. Um, and what's great is we've got a ton of activities happening way before the big game. And so having you all involved in those and being supportive as business leaders is really, really important to making this. I mean, our goals are very aspirational. We want this to be the best Super Bowl ever because we want to be remembered. We want to be leaders uh, and we want to get it back. We want to get it back soon. Uh, and so I encourage you to follow us at AZ Super Bowl. How many of you are tweeters and Facebookers and Instagrammers and Viners? Okay, so tweet now to AZ Super Bowl. Um, and just check out the website, because that's where all the news is going to be, um, new corporate sponsors coming on board and how we can support them, um, events that are going to be coming up. We're looking for volunteers. We'll have 10,000 volunteer opportunities, and you can sign up on the website today. Already we have about 4,300 folks signed up to help, and that's in all those lead-up activities, welcoming people at the airport, helping them get around town, um, so lots of different ways to get involved. So I invite you to do that as well. Well, we can't thank you enough. I know. Let me tell you how busy she is. The whole time she's been doing a great job here, her phone's blowing up with people <laughs> uh, texting and tweeting her. So this it, is, they want tickets. This is your life for the next 268 days. It's a great life. Yeah. And, well, we it. thank you so much for coming by. Thank and you. I, I feel really good knowing the Super Bowl's in capable hands. So Thanks. thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for saying that. Ladies and gentlemen, Thanks, big round of applause. Jay Perry.